Welcome back. We head north to the Jefferson National Forest in search of the Devil's Marble Yard. And I promise this video is going to overload your sensories with the beautiful colors of autumn. We head out from the small parking area to the Belfast Trail. The footbridge passes over the East Fork of Elk Creek. You'll see more of that later. Just a mile to the bottom of the Devil's Marble Yard. Let's go. Keep in mind we are in the James River Face Wilderness Area. And wilderness area means it's wilderness. So be prepared. Let's go. The Belfast Trail meanders along a creek. You want to take a guess at what the creek name is? That's right, Belfast. Propane here, right? Mm -hmm. Just a short distance up the trail, you pass by a former Boy Scout camp, Camp Powhatan, which has since been moved. Keep following those blue blazes to stay on the Belfast Trail. One thing you'll notice is this entire trail is covered in rocks of all sizes, so bring some appropriate shoes. wondering exactly where we are in Virginia? I thought you were. Well, the closest town is Buena Vista, Virginia, and you're near the Natural Bridge Station, that beautiful stone arch. One word of caution here, we're hiking to the Devil's Marble Yard in autumn for a reason. That place seems like a rattlesnake trap with all the rock crevices and cracks. Wild or net. If you were hiking this into the wintertime, I'd be very careful about the ice. Now you may also hear this trail referred to as the Devil's Marble Yard Trail. Just know that it does cross Belfast Creek several times during the hike. The closer you get to the Devil's Marble Yard, you start to see these boulder fields on both sides of the trail. Take it all in, but don't stop here. The prize is yet to come. This day, the fall colors were popping. Like some kind of model. Model. If you're wearing one of those GPS watches or model. Apple watches, you may get a false reading as far as distance hiked. Ours clocked in at 1.4 miles, yet the sign said one. Before you know it, you'll get a glimpse of the bottom of the Devil's Marble Yard through the trees. Hey, don't judge. Climb in with a camera in one hand and a backpack, not that easy. We scramble in from the bottom just to take in the expanse of this boulder field. Amazing. The cloud going. Are you wondering how this was created? Well, I am too. So I looked it up so you wouldn't have to. Geologists believe that water seeping into the cracks and crevices freeze and expanded over time, cracking the rock and creating this massive boulder field of quartzite. Enjoy your rock scrambling, but don't stop here. Join back up with the Belfast Trail on the right side of the boulder field to get an even more magnificent view from the top. I look at this. I can kill you. 
Wave at me. Yeah? All right, I'm gonna come up. Top of the world! See, you need to see another one. Come here. Look. Oh, that is beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm glad we kept going. I said, I'm glad we kept going. It was getting a bit chilly and a bit windy up there near the top, so we decided to head back down. We are a bit anxious to get to our campsite and get a campfire going and put some dinner on the table. After our hike back down to the parking lot, we set out to find the perfect camp spot. Mission accomplished. We found this spot that was just near the creek and it blocked out the wind perfectly. Want to take a wild guess at which creek this is? That's right, this is the East Fork Elk Creek. We passed over this creek on the footbridge in the beginning of our hike. G Money preps the fire pit and the charcoal grill. What's on the menu tonight? That's right, chicken wings with our favorite garlic jalapeno dry rub. going to wrap this video up i hope you enjoyed the sights and sounds of hiking the devil's marble yard and camping the jefferson national forest and just remember everybody needs a plan b cha-cha for now <laughs> <laughs>